Hello and welcome to a new video from The Interface. My name's Alex and today we're going to have a look at the EVE Home. So this is a little temperature sensor. Uh, it's used for uh, monitoring the temperature, humidity and also the uh, particulates in the air as well. So it'll give you like a five star rating. Uh, I've got one on the wall, not sure if that's in shop, but there's one there that's in my living room um, where I'm filming this today. Uh, it's, it's, it's set up with an automation with the EVE Energy and we can turn the heating on and that sort of thing, which is quite cool. So this is the EVE Room. It's a sensor that's built directly for HomeKit and um, should also work with matter when, the, when that upgrade comes. But it senses temperature, humidity and particulates in the air. It's rechargeable via USB, so micro USB port on the back. And there's a simple process for getting it adopted to HomeKit. Just scan the QR code, add it to Apple Home and then you can also use it with the Eve app and the Home app across many devices and set up automations and do a lot of different things. There are statistics available in the Eve app that goes back quite far. Uh, I think stored on the device, so if you lose internet, you're not going to lose the stats. This is a little uh, temperature sensor. Seems very accurate. Um, I've watched some videos from the people, and they've, they've tested it against sort of industrial grade equipment. This is pretty much, um, well, this is pretty accurate to be honest. Um, you can, there's no mounting option really for putting it on the wall. There's two little holes, like square holes at the back, um, but it it's not that easy to mount and um, so there's a a 3d printed uh, mount for the eve button and also this is exactly the same size as the button so you can mount this in the same same slot which is really cool um there's a micro usb port on the back shame it isn't USB C, um but there's a micro usb port on the back for charging it it does last about six weeks roughly um but i'll put the the battery life the what eve have said on the screen and also the price as well now you can get it from the apple store and amazon we're just done with the adding process when you can add it to HomeKit, read the temperature sensing uh, information and also what automations you can do with HomeKit as well. First thing to do is go to the Home app on iOS and then click the plus and then click add accessory. Once you've got that open, the camera open and you can scan the QR code on the back of the device. Add to Apple Home. This section is sped up, did take about a couple minutes. And it will ask you to choose a room within HomeKit. I chose the bedroom. I'm going to tell you to name the device. I'm going to keep it as Eve Room Thread. I'll tell you the devices that you'll be able to see with that uh, sensor. You can change the, the names as well if you want to. And it says add it to your home, press done. And then you can view the sensor in the bedroom or the device, the place you've got the sensor in. That's the temperature sensor. And if you go to the humidity section in the same room, you'll see that the you'll see the humidity uh, readings from that. So one here is my HomePod, and one is the Eve. And the air quality as well. It says 160 UG M3, um, so that's obviously an indication of how bad or good the air quality is. Uh, living room as well. I've got an air quality sensor again. It's 855. So. This is the 3D printed mount. There's a link down below in the description to get your own. Um, but yeah, you can cycle through the different menu screens. You've got the humidity level there. It refreshes every five minutes, like it's like an e-ink display to save battery. Uh, air quality, temperature again. 